Hello friends, welcome to the part 27. Now, if you are wondering where is part 26, buddy, click the join button, pay a small premium, become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member. What is the difference? Cloud kernel is for entry and intermediate certifications. Cloud ninja is for entry, intermediate, but most important the advanced certifications now what are cert advanced certifications these are like aws solution architect professional aws data analytics and so on hey by the way if you think you have not yet subscribed this is a good opportunity to hit the subscribe button it will give you access and alerts for all of the key cloud certification contents including AWS, Azure, and GCP. I have a lot of testimonies of people who have successfully passed these certification exams, not only this one, but a wide variety of certifications using the content on this channel. So what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button, click the join button, and become a member. See, you can read this question, but before, 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 we read this let us understand what is api gateway we create apis we save those apis and if you want 10 apis we create and maintain it here if you want 100 apis we maintain it here if you want 100k apis we maintain it here if you want 1 million apis we will maintain it here why because it supports at scale how how many how much pagal? Many more pagal. You have seen that reel. It is just like that. At what scale? At any scale. Infinity. At any scale. Just like a divine spirit. It's all infinity. Now, what are the API types it supports? REST APIs and WebSocket APIs. If you want to build two way communication applications which talk to each other real time, use WebSocket APIs. If you want to build serverless workloads, or backend applications use REST APIs. Clear? Now let us look into this question. You know, they already have API. What does API do? It does tax calculations. Okay? It does tax calculation. Now, what is the problem, boss? As a doctor, you need to understand what is the problem. Do you have a headache? Yes. In this case, the performance is slow. People who call the APIs, the response is slow. The response is slow. Now, you want a solution that is scalable and elastic. That is keyword. I showed you API gateway. Scalable, elastic. 1 million APIs or 100 APIs. It will work both the ways. Let us look at the options. This guy is saying, A is saying, I will put uh, API on EC2. Let EC2 perform computation when the request is made. Okay, the problem here is EC2 will have to co compute. We are fine. But if you are putting uh, like EC2 has to create and maintain the APIs, then it is not a service which is born for that. For example, you have Maruti Suzuki born to save you petrol or save gasoline. But Ferrari is not meant to save gasoline. It is meant to run fast. You, you understand? So EC2 is not meant to save petrol, man. EC2 is not, or reverse. EC2 is meant to save petrol. It is not meant to run fast. You want to run fast? You want to run fast? Use API gateway. Use API gateways. Simple. So we are saying this option will not work because it does not address this two things. Scalable and elastic. Simple. Now let us look at option B. B is telling you. See B half part looks great. You know. It looks great man. It is telling use API gateway. Which is perfect man. It is perfect. That is what API gateway is born to do. It is Ferrari. It is born to operate at scale. Operate APIs at scale. But the second part looks a bit dicey. I'll tell you why. It is telling use Lambda. See, what is Lambda? It is 
going to run the code without thinking about servers, serverless. It is serverless. So now you might ask, boss, then what is the problem, man? It is better than EC2, right? I'll tell you the problem. This guy, this guy has a problem of premature ejaculation. Sorry to use that term, not trying to mean derogatory here, but it auto kills in 15 minutes. Beyond 15 minutes, it cannot run. If your tax computation takes more than 15 minutes, this will not work. See, tax computation, the question is not saying that this is a fast operation. It can take 15 minutes, it can take 10 minutes, it can take 30 minutes. Nobody knows, man. Nobody knows. So, I would play safe and mark this wrong. I would look for better options. So, let us look if C is a better option. Now, C is the worst option. C is not making use of API gateway. If you are not making use of Ferrari and you know that you have to travel at 200 miles per hour, then you have made a bad choice. Simply, they are creating a load balancer. They will put EC2 instances and EC2 instances will compute. Hey boss, how will people pass the API, pass the request? You have not opened that option, man. So this is not answering the solution to its fullest potential. This is half solution. Now, la last option. We are only left with this. This has to be correct, but let us read it at least. So it is making use of API gateway. So API gateway, perfect. This is what we are making use of. Plus it is making use of REST API. So REST API, good for optimized serverless workloads and backends uh, applications. Okay. So this is good. Now what we are doing here is we will put the tax computation software on EC2 instance. Okay, let the API make that call. EC2 instance will calculate and send it back. And this looks correct because your tax calculation may take 30 minutes also, may take 40 minutes or may take 10 minutes. We don't know. So EC2, like option D. So net net, this would be the final answer. Now let us look at this one. So you have an EC2 instances, multiple of them running behind ALB. So that application which resides on this should only be accessed from one country. So what should we do? So these are your EC2 instances. And this one is your ALB. Now should you configure the security group for EC2 instances? These in so you should do something for for uh, here, the, the load balancer, because that is the first place where the user will try to access it from a country. So whatever you should do is should happen here first. Okay. Like this is your uh, border, the Indian borders. So any, uh, any influx of terrorists across the border, has to be stopped here first because that is the border. It should not be stopped inside. Like in India, if we have an Indo Pak border, so we will stop it there. We will not say, hey, you know, our forces, they are in Delhi to stop them. No, boss, you cannot put them in Delhi. You have to put them on the border. I hope you got the concept now. So that is why A is wrong. Now, B. Now you might say, hey, Cloud Guru. You told not to put anything around this layer, but how about this layer? Security group on ALB. Isn't this good? See, whenever you got to do this, you have this use case. We use AWS WAF. So this is a blog, a documentation. You can refer how they do it. You may pause this video and read these steps. There are 14 steps if you want to understand. But if you want to block a country, you see this. If you want to block certain countries, you should use CloudFront geographic restriction to block a country. Okay. Here we do not want to block because the question is not saying block a country. It is saying only give access to one specific country. So for me, B is wrong. C is correct. And what about option D? See, option D is again doing something here 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 it your answer should do something here 
because the end users will come from this way right from the country so you should do something here not here so this would be my final answer see this question is the next one simple you want to reduce ddos attacks if you want to reduce ddos, DDoS attacks then shield is the service you see this it is managing ddos protection it helps applications get protection against ddos risks okay and this is how it works it is placed here okay then you have waf then you have firewalls so you have shield you also have shield advanced you see this here in this one and shield standard standard gives comprehensive availability protection for layer 3 and 4 and shield advanced it includes all of these capabilities so here we have shield advanced so we will select this this is my answer but you might ask cloud guru what happens to amazon inspector so inspector is used for automated vulnerability management at scale it has a different purpose it will immediately discover and scan workloads for software vulnerabilities you know it is like a real inspector or your security guards it is just like that it will immediately catch hey you know this he will scan your body uh, through the bomb detector and he or she can say hey you know what you are allowed to get in or you are not allowed to get in and so on so this is wrong in this case because shield advanced is born for ddos productions now macy macy is not there to prevent attacks so if you have documents which has for example contractual data or you have uh, confidential data like social security number credit card information and you want you have so much of documents on s3 you want to know hey which ones which ones have confidential information then you use macy it will discover hey you know what these three documents i just found an ssn number hey you know what these five documents i found that there was a reference to a credit card number here so that is what macy does macy will not will not help you prevent attacks now you might ask hey what about guard duty so this one it is a intelligent threat protect detection guard duty is just like your guard who looking at you he's so experienced looking at you he will say hey you know what this guy is a thief or he will say oh this guy is okay to go in he looks to be a decent person that is what guard duty does it has intelligent threat detection built in okay so why it is useful you can continuously monitor your accounts you can continuously monitor your containers databases for potential threats it exposes threats using anomaly detection so for example every day at 5 pm a guy who stays in bungalow number 18 comes at 5 pm but on one fine day he comes at 9 pm is he the same guy so those are rare anomaly means rare rare instances which gets noticed do we have any such scenarios here no man we don't have these scenarios we are not supposed to understand what are the rares we we are simply saying boss do not apply your brains do not be very experienced to smell like a sniffer dog and say hey this guy is a thief this guy is not just prevent ddos attacks that is your work ddos you have shield at once simple this is my answer this is my answer now my friend if you have not yet subscribed hit the subscribe this is a good opportunity to get timely alerts of most of the cloud certification contents around aws azure and gcp posted by the way if you have not become a member please take this opportunity to become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member what is the difference what is the difference the difference is cloud kernel will give you access to 
additional questions very important questions for simple and intermediate certifications something like solution architect c03 but cloud ninja will give you access to all the content even the complex and advanced certifications what are those for example aws solution architect professional aws data analytics these complex and advanced certifications those questions and a lot of knowledge will be there only in cloud ninja i hope you found this video useful stay tuned we will see you in the next part